this morning. Give the Lord Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Amen. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Every time you see signs and wonders erupt, it's a proof of God's presence in the midst of his people. And so the glory goes to him. And to him alone. The glory goes to him and to him alone. One more time, help me lift up your two hands and give God the glory for his manifest presence in our midst all of the times. Give him thanks for the impact of the prophetic world in our midst all of the times. Give him glory and praise. He's a good God. He's a reliable God. He's a dependable God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. There's one thing about our God. He never confirms what is not preached. He was working with them, confirming the word with signs for them. Before the teachings of faith came, we were victims of defeat. Faith came. The word of faith came and brought us to the realm of victory. Before the word of prosperity came, we were wallowing in poverty. The word came and opened up the destinies of many. Now, in the same vein, people live in the fear of death. They are night. Jesus died to deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Now, the word of <laughs> satisfactory long life is coming to destroy the fear of untimely death. If it's not preached, it will not be confirmed. Now, if you don't receive it and believe it, it can't be confirmed in your life. As many as believed him and received him, he gave power to manifest what they believe. So you can't have it without receiving it. I don't want that. Then you want whatever you want. But Moses was 120 years old. His eyes were not dim. And his natural force not abated. He received the word. He believed the word. He manifested the word. He wrote that book. God said. And he experienced it. Because he received it and believed it. There shall be no more infant of days in our midst. He said, the number of your days are fulfilled. <laughs> you receive and believe it, you will experience it. This morning we are glad one more time to have an armist, God's precious servant, a man with a heart for the truth, a man who transmits the truth with all cheerfulness. Join me this morning and welcome Dr. Copeland as he brings the world. Amen. 